around from like last time. And yeah, I'll check you guys on the beach. Woo! And it's quite a decent size. Speak them a little and get a good shot in behind the gill plates, turning it. Um, this way, no, no fish have been stoked, and you can dive the same reef again and hope to find some more fish. Some big bluefish, which I'm actually string one through the eyes, and uh, thought that would be a good, good size for a meal. Back onto the boat, headed to our third spot, and yet again we got quarantine. Get down there, and there's some good shoal bluefish, nice size blues. Wham, straight behind the gill plate, rolled in, nice fat tassel. For the next dive here, you can see I've switched guns. you'll see the disappointment. But anyways, I uh, shoot this nice rubber lips. It's my first rubber lips I've ever shot. Quite stoked with that. There we're filleting a tomato rock cod. Luke shared a really awesome recipe with me. It suits the Durban culture really well with the spice. It's basically gonna make a sweet chili sauce that you baste the fish in and you bake it in the oven, which is quite nice. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna chop the head off, chop the tail off, descale it, and then get into the kitchen. Is we're gonna chop off the wings. It's our new thing. We're gonna chop the wings off and fry those for a side dish. So on a rock cod, or especially it's tomato rock cod, but a lot of your rock cods are very, very well protected with spines and plates, as well as teeth in the gills. So you gotta watch out when you grab your fish in the gills, they have teeth. Unlike a normal fish, they've got, they're pretty sharp and they're like almost razory. And then they got little spines as well. Spice up the wings with some coriander. And then just to match the coriander, we're gonna have some cumin. So that's ready. So when the fire is ready, we'll put that on. We're drying the fish. Um, we've patted it down with newspaper already, but we're gonna take the back of the knife. And we're just gonna run it along the skin. And it's gonna get more of that moisture off. And just get, get it with some of that little tail. We've got three cups of sugar in the bowl. We're gonna need three cups of vinegar. We're gonna need six chilies chopped. We've got chili flakes instead. Um, we're gonna have five cloves of garlic, we've got crushed garlic already. 
um, two tablespoons of grated ginger, which we have already as well. Um, we're gonna have flour seasoned with salt and pepper, a bunch of coriander which over here, and then three lemons until it thickens. Um, so we're gonna add the sugar. It's gonna be really thick. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna use a tablespoon of uh, crushed, what is it? Yeah, crushed chili. It's quite strong. Um, we're just gonna let this simmer to thicken into about a syrup. Um, basically become the sauce for our dish. This will be really good. So for now, we're gonna go and add the seasoned flour. So we're just gonna make that quickly with salt and pepper. Put it onto the nice, Small rock card here. Okay, so we dusted the fish in the uh, seasoned flour. Looking good. It's Got the the wing here. Nathan's brought the wing. Do you think it's cooked? Yeah, it's cooked. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fry the skin of the fish. So it's slightly crispy. Okay, so we're gonna let that um, just cook a little, just to get that skin crispy. And we're gonna try and get it off without letting it stick. There you go. This looks like it's good. We have got the sauce ready, it's thickened, you can feel the resistance in the in the pot with the wooden spoon. It's not too thick so you can put it into the oven and it'll thicken over the fish as well. So 10 minutes into baking it in the oven, you're gonna add half that cup just to get the juices going again. And then five minutes after that you're gonna add the rest and then you know let it cook for about 20 minutes. And then from there on, when checking, um, you're gonna scoop up the, the sauce in the dish and just keep basting the fish over and over until it's cooked. And we're gonna try and keep about a cup's worth of sauce. Sit oven at 180 degrees. And we're just gonna let it bake in there. That sauce should get nice and thick and very sweet. Bam. Now we have five minutes. And we pour the rest on. Yeah, sure. I think we've done a successful job of cooking this tomato rock cut. Um, tomato rock cuts are really good eating already, so by having a good recipe and good sauce on top of that should be really, really good. Short link for that recipe. Uh, really gonna enjoy this. Okay, so we got our tomato rock cut and the sticky sauce. It's looking amazing. You know, that tastes amazing. The sticky sauce and the chili just goes so well with it. Um, so yeah, thanks again for tuning in. We're gonna chow this down and we'll catch you next time on Catch Cook. Have a good one. Cheers.